Hello, this is Stephen Galbraith speaking on behalf of Amelia Fontenelle and all my colleagues at the Cary Graphic Arts Collection at RIT. The following is a presentation on the use of the jacquard loom in book production. Produced by Joseph Alphonse Henri in Lyon, France in around 1883, the book Les Laboureurs dramatically exemplifies the intersection of the history of the book, weaving, and early computer programming. This book of poetry by the French author Alphonse de Lamartine was the first book woven entirely in silk by the programmable jacquard loom. The book's producer, Joseph Alphonse Henri, was not a publisher in the traditional sense. Henri did not run a printing house, rather he ran a silk weaving house. Silk weaving was an historically important industry in Lyon, France. Why Henri expanded his industry to the production of books is unknown. In 1878, he began working on Les Laboureurs, his first woven book, which he later released with a title page dated 1883. As this detail of the first page of the book shows, rather than printing text using inked lead type in a printing press, Henri wove text out of silk. To achieve woven text, he used a machine that had been patented in Lyon in 1804, the jacquard loom. The history of human weaving and fabric manufacturing dates to prehistoric times. The first hand looms were strung with thread in the lengthwise position, and then a person would simply shuttle a running thread through those long threads in an alternating pattern by hand. By the 18th century, many bustling weavers could only produce about one inch of fabric per day while working a large-scale hand loom to create a fabric or tapestry with multiple colors. Joseph Marie Jacquard debuted his upscaled modification to the hand loom at the 1801 Paris Exhibition. It was soon considered a marvel of modern technology as the most complicated machine thus invented. It was a many-geared and levered contraption that took up 72 square feet of floor space. It was 16 feet high and weighed 4,000 pounds. His modified portion of the loom, called the jacquard, hung from the ceiling and held a revolving cylinder that read thousands of punched cards in sequence to produce a figured fabric pattern. The presence or absence of the hole in the cards would engage the wires that controlled the threads and moved them to select the next thread color that was woven into the fabric. Up to 10,000 threads could be controlled at a time, thus creating the ability to produce finely detailed patterns and ultimately the resolution needed for text as seen in lay laborers. Productivity in weaving was also improved by Jacquard's invention, as it could produce up to two feet of fabric per day with just one operator. During the weaving action, the jacquard loom was methodical and robot-like, moving threads and cards in a syncopated fashion. However, before any weaving was possible, days of careful preparation were required by several skilled craftspeople. An artist would first draw fabric patterns with color specifications. Then, a dress person would enlarge and transfer this design onto gridded papers. Finally, a card puncher would painstakingly follow the grid plan and sequentially punch the cards on a perforating machine by the use of a foot pedal. This step required intense concentration, as only four to eight punch cards were needed for a semi-plane weave, but up to 7,000 cards were required for a complex one. Historians see the operational method of the jacquard loom as a vital step in binary logic. As James Essinger writes in his book, Jacquard's Web, Today our whole idea of how computers should be programmed and even what they should actually be can be traced directly back to the jacquard loom and its punched cards. Indeed, the jacquard card can even be said to constitute the invention of the binary digit, or bit. In this way, the jacquard loom is cited by historians as an important precursor to the computer. Charles Babbage, who is often called the father of computers, acknowledged the influence of the jacquard loom and its system of punch cards in his 1864 autobiography. He incorporated this technology into the design of his difference engine, generally acknowledged as an antecedent to modern computers. Following the production of Les Laboureurs, Joseph Alphonse Henri used the technology of the jacquard loom to produce a second book in around 1886. 
It was a book of prayers woven after illuminations in manuscripts of the 14th and 15th centuries. Here the silk and black threads captured the beauty of illuminated manuscripts. Like the Jacquard loom nearly a century earlier, the woven prayer book debuted at the Paris Exhibition in 1889 and astonished audiences. Surviving copies of Les Laboureurs are extremely rare. Only three copies are currently known. The acquisition of Les Laboureurs by RIT's Cary Graphic Arts Collection was made possible through a generous grant from the B.H. Breslauer Foundation. Here it is studied by students and scholars as a milestone in the history of the book, the history of textiles, and the history of computing.